Iguanas are good communicators if you learn to speak their language. Right now, they're actually displaying aggression toward one another by shaking their heads up and down. This is because they often do this when I first take them out of their cage because they sort of what they want to try to do is they want to mark off territory and they've already established their territories inside their own cage but on the kitchen table they still have little territorial disputes and those disputes are never over because of course we all use the table and I put them down on different parts that's the girl she actually likes to tease the boy a lot she always picks the fights and that's the boy he's stronger and tougher and he pretty much can always finish the fights but notice that head bobbing they're basically saying don't come over here and uh, but they never display aggression towards people because they are tame Now this guy, his name is Hank Zilla. Let me pick him up. Come here. Why don't you have a look at him? Now they have uh, some skin that uh, that they shed that keeps them nice and clean. So I often have to pick it off, help pick it off for them. Come here. You get that. They like it when you take that off. It's kind of itchy for them. I take them out as often as possible whenever I'm home. They're often on my shoulders or on the table. And uh, they never poop outside. They seem to understand that this is rude, I guess. So far they've never done that and I've had them for a long time. They're about two years old. Another thing iguanas do when they're upset is they will paint the walls of their cage with their own poop. That itches him. Oh, let me get that for you. And he only did that once when I first got him. There you go. There's Hankzilla walking among the dinosaurs. And here they are arguing back and forth. They never do this in their in their terrarium. They only do this when they're outside. They're taunting each other and teasing each other and trying to start a fight. They're yawning actually, they just woke up. <laughs> I've just collected some dandelion greens for their breakfast. Sometimes there are some flowers available, but today there's no flowers. Dandelions, uh, the flowers just come quickly and they disappear quickly. There's just greens, but the greens are very healthy. In fact, people can eat these greens. They don't taste good, but it is uh, medicine. And, and some people who are sick eat this stuff as salads. You can, you can buy dandelion greens in the health food store. But of course, they're, uh, they're right there in the lawn. So, And iguanas just love them. They go nuts. In fact, here he's going to... Hank is going to come here and eat this stuff right off the board probably when I'm done with shopping. Let's see. There you go, Hank. What's some?
There you go. That's a nice boy. That's a nice boy. Now Xiang Fei is having her breakfast. Iguanas need to eat in the morning and in the evening as the sun sets. That's when their little stomachs get excited and uh, they need to get some food at those times. If you don't feed them at the proper schedule, they can have uh, a hard time digesting because uh, and then and, you know and then they'll feel hungry in the morning if you don't feed them in the morning. So they need to be fed every morning and in the evening. She's just getting up, so she's got a good appetite. She's real happy to be eating. Hank already had a bite. I keep them outside of their cage as much as possible when I'm home. So they're very well socialized. They're part of the family. Even my wife, who was, or she used to be really a, afraid of them, she actually likes them quite a lot now. And uh, they really become a part of our family. They're charming. This is called a terrarium. And this is where they spend their time when I'm at work. Temperature controlled environment with uh, ultraviolet light and a heat lamp and a temperature and humidity gauge with uh, this, uh, this organic substrate that they walk on. And they like to sit there under the heat lamp, get nice and warm and they get, uh, they turn, they turn green when they're real warm and content and they just uh, relax for a good part of their day just like they would in the wild and when they get bigger I need to get them a much bigger terrarium these are just babies actually they can get up to uh, four five feet from nose to tail